Hi and welcome to or welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a sunken waterfall and a mushroom path kind of thing. Unfortunately I don't have any of the mushroom stands that you craft in autumn but I do have the Nintendo ones from the Nook shop. Um, here's some pictures that I'm going to use for my inspiration. I'm not going to be able to go entirely off of these pictures because I don't have a lot of items um, but I'm just going to do what feels right at the time so let's get started. I started off by clearing the area by filling in this little pool. Then once the pool was filled in, I started terraforming around the path. It's honestly the worst thing when you go to get a balloon but then remember that you don't have your slingshot. I just want to mention is that the dates on here are really messed up because I didn't get a lot of chance to record because I've been really busy over the past couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, the, it took this took me a long time. Next, I started doing the actual path. Then I had to go to Nook's Cranny because I forgot that I needed to buy saplings. Also, a couple of days ago, I had one of those proper I was today years old moments because I just realised that Nook's Cranny is called Nook's Cranny because, like, every nook and cranny. My mind was actually blown. had a right mare doing this part of the bath. I'd connected the path up I started terraforming on the second level. Then I started waterscaping.
I kept forgetting to film, so here's just the process of me building the waterfall. Then I started terraforming on the top. Forgot to record this again, what a shocker. So this is just a wall to start off the uh, sunken waterfall path bit at the top. Um, not sure what this was for, but I think it was just to show the area. Then I finished off the path and I made it a bit wider. Then I spent a hideous amount of bells putting in a sink line. I completely forgot about the top area so I started waterscaping that as well. 